Good morning and welcome to Mormon Times. When we marry, we expect that it will be forever, but sometimes our plans don't work out just the way we wanted. Whether through the death of a spouse or because of divorce, many people are now learning to blend two families into one as they remarry. Now, these blended families have their challenges, but with lots of work, there are plenty of joys too. This family seems to be getting it right. Just bring over your check. In the Lyons family, you don't pick a side, you just pick a seat. The table might be full, but the way the conversation flows and the people connect, you wouldn't know that just a few years ago, this one family was actually two. It's just a miracle. When Matt Lyons' wife, Amanda, died of cancer in May 2008, Matt and his three children made a natural connection to Marcy and her six children. Marcy's husband, Jay, passed away in July 2008. It was the kids who first suggested the two families just hang out and a strong natural friendship quickly formed we yeah. finally found a family that understood what we were going through you know other people had stopped by and they just didn't know and we ended up spending more and more time together and as we did you know our families grew closer and closer together Matt and Marcy married in 2009, making them a family of, yes, that's right, 11. <laughs> and at the center of this blended bunch is one driving goal, to honor the past while focusing on the future. We had a family meeting before we even moved in and just talked about things that would be different. And a lot of times on Sundays we have a family meeting and we talk about, you know, the week or what's what everyone's thinking or feeling. I, I think, if anything, we've tried to embrace our past but not continue to look back on it. You know, and, and preserving the legacy of, of their parents, I don't want to take away from that, but at the same time, recognizing we're now a new family and we have to kind of create a clean start for ourselves and define what that is. Both Matt and Marcy credit the kids for their positive attitude and the acceptance of what is. There's nothing that you can do to change the past. You might as well have a good attitude about where life is going. It's tough, it's different. Just getting used to the different styles, people, because we're so used to like a certain style of family runs and then it's like running two different softwares on a computer. It doesn't, it's hard to start working with each other again. But they are working together and making it work well. The secret, open and candid communication. I think the biggest challenge is having time alone. Just I'd love to, we didn't start out like other relationships where you are by yourself. We family dated. We were just did everything with families. So that's, I think, the hardest thing is I don't get very much time to just Matt. This is every Friday evening we make sure that we schedule time for each other. And because it is important for us to get time together that we can just get one-on-one -on -one time and, and enjoy each other's company. They might come from two families, but they are definitely one team, and that is the win worth cheering about. Great family. Uh, making that